So, I've been seeing a lot of fake D squared hats going around online. I've had a few questions from some people asking whether, you know, the items, the D squared hats are authentic or not. Um, this isn't really a, a, a fake versus real type of video, but at the same time it is. Um, so yeah what it is so okay so i'm going to show you this hat i've seen i have seen a fake of this hat and what i will do throughout the video because i don't i don't actually have any fakes to hand um i'll show you you know the images and we'll do like side by side um just to try and give you an idea but the first ever d squared hat that i bought i bought from someone off deep up and when it came um i just knew straight away that it was fake because obviously D squared is you know high-end fashion brand and when I got the hat it didn't feel like quality and the hats usually start from about 75 80 pounds upwards so if that was a genuine hat for 75 80 pounds I probably wouldn't have wanted it anyway I've, I've done a review of this hat and, and my other these good hats before but I just want to give another look at the hat hats rather this embroidery here is really hard and it's really thick and the quality of it like as soon as you see it as soon as you feel it you just know this hat came directly from um d squared everything sort of you know in line let me move that back a bit everything's like in line pretty much you can tell you can tell when something's meant to be out of place from style like if you look at there the E and the D don't line up at the top of that D pretty much lines at the top of the R so you can tell that that style like that's how that's meant to be you really have to pay close attention to the fine the fine fine details because the fakes and the replicas are getting really good so it's only going to be really small inconsistencies that's what's going to give you you know the clue as to whether it's real or, or fake so as mentioned before in my review video, the D squared logo patch that's sewn into the hat, stitched into the hat, is the opposite way to the tag. So it's upside down, so it reads that way. And pay particularly close attention to the font, how thick it is, and how consistent that is. That's in a straight line. And it's quite clear and flipping to this side what when I bought that hat from Deepa and all the other ones that I can tell are fake because I've I've seen the fake versions of the hats that I've owned and I can see the difference in terms of um, embroidery so I'll just look at it and I can just see straight away okay there's too much space in between the letters or something like that again I'll put pictures up so you can see exactly um, what it is that I'm, I'm getting at so if you look here bring this close the old on there lads got me new camera so bear with I got this manual focus malarkey all right so these are all the informations now the cap says made in China yep the only place it states Italy is here Milano Italy now I was speaking to someone and we were disputing um, potentially a fake item that they may have received so we were looking back and forth back and forth now funnily enough he had a look online and he found that Farfetch had actually uh, actually saying that the caps were made in Italy but I can assure you <laughs> I can assure you that they aren't I've had a fair I've had my fair share of these hats um, sold one or two of them as well but um, all every single one that I've had has been consistent with this you know this font yeah, so I'm gonna flip out 
and show you this one. You see? You see? I was about to say made in China and it only says Milano, Italy. Now, when I went onto D Squared's, D Squared's official website, they detail the caps as being made in China. Like they say in the caps, but what I did find was when I looked at say like the woolly hats or like the winter type hats, they were made in Italy, so it seems as though you know there's a mix and again, you know, the embroidery on this is thick, like and there's no there's no there's no indiscrepancies or anything like that man. It's it's you know it's solid. I can't stress enough about the fine details of you know the hats man you have to feel quality if you get an item and it doesn't feel like quality even if it is you know second hand of being worn I mean if it's been worn to high hell <laughs> then you know it may be a bit harder to tell but if it's someone like you know that looks after their stuff in general if you that's if you're buying second hand obviously if you're buying brand new there's no I no excuse. Yeah, so there's that. There's that thick blocky right in. There we are, you made in China. We've got some jeans. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. For anybody who's because I had somebody ask me on the Instagram about their D-squared jeans. Now as far as I know, D-squared's branding is D-squared with the two. So if you see denim that just says D-squared and there is no two, I mean, I'm no expert in it, but you know, every time I've seen D-squared written on the items, it usually tends to have the two. Um, maybe there's t-shirt prints and jumper prints, maybe without, but uh, yeah, I'd be very cautious of that. Even just little things like, you know, just look at how the stitching is like, just look at the, the, the jeans, the denim itself, like, you know. But um, to the point of what I was actually trying to get at was even on the jeans, we've got that same font. But yeah, we only deal with, with the authentic, so. The one thing I will say is, you know, if you're not sure, if you're just not 100%, don't do it because the last thing you want to do is spend your hard earned money on these items and getting them and then finding out that they're not real and then the person that you bought it off, you can't get in contact with them or they're just not happy to refund you and then, you know, it's just a whole bunch of hassle and pain and strife in your life that you... <laughs> that you don't particularly want or need. Obviously, I understand that these things are expensive, so, you know, if you can grab them at a discounted price, then, you know, why not? Type of thing, but just be, you know, 100% certain that, you know, it is real. I mean, at least if they offer you the, if you're not happy with it, you can return it, then, you know, you can take the risk type of thing. But if they're not, you know, willing to, to do any returns providing obviously you return it in the condition that they sold it to you in then you know I'd have to do my thorough checks and as I mentioned in my uh, deep up video don't be scared to ask for more confirmation or proof that you know that their item is real if they get offended or anything like that just simply you know just move on D squared if you're watching this Dean Dan uh, anyone joining Certi Logo? If you look at my review video, you will see the main thing of everything, the easiest way was to see it was just straight away that D and that 2, that gap is just way, 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 way. There's, there's barely any gap between the D and the 2 on, on the original hat, so, you know, that was the dead giveaway from the beginning before anything else. And then this is the logo in that I'm talking about. You can see there made in Italy and you can see look at that look at that it's cranked to one side and that too looks hella wonky and yet in comparison to 
you know. That. And obviously you're right to ask, you know, but was it like that before? Maybe it was like that back in the day or did da did da da Yeah, that's fair to say, but this is a new hat. This is a 12, this is a 2016 hat. So obviously, as is this, sorry if it's not even the same hat, but yeah, as is this, which is what I, when I bought mine in 2016. So with that said, you gotta look at that, isn't it? The one thing that you can count on as your friend is Google. When you're looking at buying an item and you're a bit unsure whether it's real or not, use Google. Use Google Images and type in the item. You might have to use your brains a bit so you might not be able to just go D squared cap and it'll come up. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you need to be almost a little bit um, specific to design. So for example, with this one, uh, D squared newspaper, cap or something of a sort of D squared icon cap or D squared KN band cap or D squared navy cap if the design is you know hard to describe or hard to just say something like that then you can put something like uh, yeah khaki or green or black or blue you know try to use descriptive words because obviously Google's going to pick up on um, those words in, in terms of like maybe advertisements or wherever it's written online will you know usually tend to be with the item those things help because i use those things sometimes and if i can't find it on google but i can only see on ebay or you know i can only see on a site that looks a little bit iffy then you know chances are it's fake that's pretty much it though for this video i'm babbling and i've been talking too much but hopefully it's being insightful um, and it's helped you to understand a little bit more about how cautious you have to be nowadays because there is so much fakes out there and hopefully I plan to do um, some more on combating against you know replicas and whatnot because it's your hard-earned cash at the end of the day it's your peas blood you get me so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned loads more coming we updating we, we, we bringing it up we raising the levels now it's 2017 as you can see I got my camera quality cheekily did you know I used to film on my iPhone my iPhone 6s <laughs> quality weren't that bad though was it <laughs> but yeah um, sorry iPhone 6s plus but yeah so thanks for watching thanks for supporting you know how it goes if you liked it like share comment subscribe all that good stuff we're here to stay we're here to knock down some doors so yeah man keep supporting love it any any improvements or suggestions if only my words are getting excited uh, you know what to do man so yeah thanks again peace yeah.